my name is Marga Lane, and I want to shout out to FirstStringTV.com. Well, my name is Marga Lane, and I am a singer, songwriter, uh, dancer, and instrumentalist. Uh, I graduated from Berkeley College of Music a few years ago, and live in the... It's really loud. Yeah, I <laughs> I live out here in LA. I'm originally from New York and I'm just pursuing my dream writing for uh, other artists and writing for myself and, you know, on my way, on my way to stardom. That's good. <laughs> Fame. Well, t tell us a little bit about what inspires you right now. Boys. <laughs> uh, boys inspire me. Um, everything, really. I've got one of those weird creative minds where I just look. I mean, I'll be watching a TV show, I'll be walking down the street, you know, find anything. And I just, little words are like, I love vocabulary. So, like, words will stick out with me. Like, I was watching CSI the other day and thought of a really cool idea for a song called Victims. But it's not what you think. It's totally different. So, just random, like, randomness. Yeah. Mostly men. Mostly men. <laughs> mostly men. <laughs> Okay, so this is probably a good segue uh, to this question. What are some of the things Marga likes to do <laughs> when she's not making music? <laughs> um, well, I dance, so that is kind of like my, my savior right now. I'm going to dance class, being around my dancer friends, because it's just, it's still the same industry, you know, entertainment, mm -hmm. but it's, it's just different for me, because I'm not pursuing dance, yeah. you know? So, yeah, yeah, it's just kind of like relaxing. No and stress, you're not no trying stress. to make any money, you're not exactly. worried about the bills off of exactly. it. Exactly, yeah, yeah. you know, just work hard on the craft and you know, get better at it, so. That's good. And go to the movies. <laughs> Alright, so what would you say would be the mi biggest misconception about Margaret? Misconception? Um, well, I hear a lot that I'm kind of mean, and I don't, like, just from, like, looking no. at me. And I'm not, I'm really goofy. Like, I'm really, like, once, I think once you start, I think it's the initial, yeah. when you see me, they kind of, oh, she's kind of mean, but I don't, I'm, like, really funny, and like, I try to be. Well, people, especially guys, are intimidated, and women are intimidated by pretty women, so, you know, they don't want to talk to you because they, you're mean, not because you're a friend. <laughs> So let me ask you a question. Um, tell me what you think makes people want to pay to see Margo perform. Well, what would be the thing you would say that makes people pay, want to pay to see you perform? I think there would be a few things. Mm -hmm. um, I think one is because the songs that I write, I mean, I actually I write them. I'm, mm -hmm. You know, I mean, there's many artists that do. Actually, I went to school with a bunch of artists that I think should be on the charts, mm -hmm. I think should be on the radio, that write their own stuff. And, um, so that's one thing, it comes from the heart. Like What I write yeah. is from personal experiences, whether they're mine or my friends. Uh, so that, you're getting, you're getting me. You're not only getting, you know, the visual and the performing and, and the band and playing the instruments, you're getting a piece of my life, because in every song there's a piece of me. Okay. So I think that's authentic, I think that's cool and, and different, whereas going to see an entertainer that doesn't write their own songs, which is still great and mm -hmm. still awesome and very cool, it's just, you, I feel like you're not getting all of them yeah. for their life or understanding. So. I understand. So what would you say has been your biggest roadblock so far? In, in the industry, uh, not having as much help as I would as I would like, or knowing the right people. Mm -hmm. You know, you can know so many different people, and this this industry, especially Hollywood industry, is very small. But it's the right people. It's the one that wants you know to take a chance on you. Yeah. The one that could hook you up with the right person. Because there's so many producers, there's so many songwriters, so many artists out there doing their thing that. If one doesn't work out for you, it's not the end of the world. Because yeah. there's five million more. Yeah. You know, well, mm -hmm. not five million, but you know, there's there's more. So you're not gonna gel with everybody. And even if you do meet someone and you're in the studio, and it could not work out personality-wise, you know, style-wise. So I think that has been is just knowing the right people and getting the help to get into the circles. You know. So switching that question, what would you say would be one of your biggest accomplishments? So far, that's far. Um, well, I would say playing at the Roxy is pretty cool. That's yeah, one that's thing I was, deal. <laughs> I was that's wanted to deal. do. Shout out to my friend Ron Pope, who okay. I opened up for. That's a big um, deal. So that was really cool with my band. 
and um, just kind of being out here and doing it on my own. Yeah. You know, I don't have management, I don't have agents, I don't, you know, I've helped friends, you know, here and there. We, we said, I'm sure you saw some videos on YouTube mm -hmm. and, you know, but doing it on my own, making the connections on my own, meeting the people are all from, from me. Yeah. So I think that's like one of my biggest accomplishments, for sure. That's, that's good. Playing at the Rocks is a big deal. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> that's a big deal. So let me ask you a question. What, um, if you had to change something about the industry, what would it be? Um, I would like to see more artists that write them and that play their own instruments. Mm -hmm. I think that I think that's cool. Like, cause like I said, it brings you into their world and what they're feeling. And you know, everybody wants to be wants to be like an artist. You know, you wanna. Mm -hmm. I find myself wanting to be like Beyonce. You know? Also, <laughs> they also they, that lets you know that they appreciate music. Exactly. So you know, they actually learn and take some time to learn the craft. Exactly. So you know, I guess it's your yeah, I guess it's your appreciation for it. You know, most yeah. people don't really care if you know they just getting in, but you actually started. I read you said you started at six, yeah. learning. So you know, yeah. at this point, yeah, you like look. It's been a long time. <laughs> it's been a long time. Not that but, you long. know, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready in high school. You know, there's 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 moments. You know, yeah. where you everybody feel. has their time. You yeah, know, everybody has their time. So, yeah. so, what can we look forward to from you in, in the, for the remainder of 2012? Lots more music videos will be coming out, lots of covers. Um, we just did a Rick Ross cover, my friend Lady, shout out to her rapper. Okay. Um, she's up and coming, working on her EP as well. Okay. And uh, we just did a Lauren Hill cover, a Rick Ross cover, a few different you know things here and there. Um, some music videos for my own songs. Okay. Uh, hopefully, hopefully my publishing deal, my record deal in the works. Okay. <laughs> and uh, just playing out more and, okay. and recording a lot more music. So I know heard you mention the band. Can you explain explain a little bit more about your band that you have something you set up yourself? Yes. Okay. Um, most of the bands. Well, I've, I've been through like four different bands because <laughs> I know a lot of musicians. They're awesome, you yeah. know. And some can't do it, and some can, you yeah. know, depending on the on the dates. But my band out here is awesome. Three of the guys went to Berkeley with okay. me, and um, the rest are, are great musicians that I met through Berkeley people, mm -hmm. and that I worked with. And you know, I've got my guitar player, bass, drums, okay. keyboard. So it's nice because I like I like having the pop. You know, I do the urban pop music, yeah. but I like the real, the live instrumentation. Of course, because it, it brings a whole new element than just standing there with a DJ. <laughs> <you know? laughs> Which is great. I need a DJ too. But. Yeah, I understand. I understand. <laughs> So, well, of course, we're first string TV. So, I always like to ask the question of, what would you? Why would you consider yourself a first string talent? Because I've been doing it for a really long time. <laughs> <laughs> um, because I feel like, well, after graduating high school, a lot of people that I knew, or a lot of people that I know now, went straight into the, the business, went into the real world, and I felt that I wanted to do that too, yeah. but. I felt like owning my craft even more and practicing and constantly, you know, vocal warm-ups, piano warm-ups, writing, really perfecting yeah. your craft, I think is why I would be a first string. Because it's the same as like Kobe shooting those free throws, <laughs> you know? Like constantly. So basically you practice and you've worked hard enough to get to that point where so you should be first string at all times. At all times. Yo. Remember back on the block when cats used to harmonize like Yeah Yo, my men and my women Don't forget about the thing That's it at the most a king Yo, it's about a thing If you feel real good, wave your hands in the air And lit two shots in the atmosphere Yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, 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 yeah since he left you looking stupid. Remember when he told you he tooted and booted what he did? Girl, you know he's all about cash.